Hi everyone, here's a Golang interview question that a lot of developers get wrong. Here I have two programs that are nearly identical. In each program, I define a new type called myType. In the main function, I define a variable i of type empty interface and set it equal to the value of 3. I then perform a type assertion on i and assert that it is of type myType. I then print out the value that's returned from that assertion. The first question is, what will be the result of running each of these programs? Take a second and pause the video if you need to think about it. I'll first run the program on the left. And we see that gives me a panic. Now I'll run the program on the right. And that prints out three. Hopefully you got the first question right. So the second question is, why does one program panic and the other one runs without any problems at all. Keep watching and I'll explain everything you need to know so you can answer questions just like these. If you're still watching this video, I assume that you are an individual who loves being challenged and learning new material, especially as it relates to programming. So congrats on taking the initiative and I wanna encourage you to subscribe to this channel if you wanna see questions just like this one. Uh, this is a continuation of my brain teasers and interview question series. And the goal is to help you become a more effective programmer through problem solving. All right, now let's get back to the problem at hand. So as we've seen, the program on the left panics when we try to execute this code. And the message that we get in the terminal indicates that the problem is with the interface conversion. It says the interface, or I'm sorry, the empty interface is int, not main.myType. And that might be confusing for some of you because you may be saying, well, what do you mean? My type is of type int, but that's not completely accurate. And you may have guessed that the culprit relates to line five, this line here. At the beginning, I said something that was slightly misleading. I said that each program defines a new type and that's not really true. Actually, only one program defines a new type, and that's emphasis on the word new. And that program is this one here on the left, the one that panics. So I'm actually creating a new type, my type, and it is not of type int. In fact, int is actually just the underlying type. Now, if you've never heard of that term, underlying type, I encourage you to go watch my video on reflection where I cover uh, both reflection and type assertion. And I promise you that will get you up to speed and uh, inform you of everything you need to know to feel confident in the explanation of this question. But just as a summary, uh, in Go, an underlying type is the type from which a new type is derived or based on. So it's more accurate to say that int is the type that lies beneath or underlies my type and the purpose of this is that it allows you to create kind of a distinct type with a different name and identity but with the same kind of underlying representation and behavior so the compiler basically you know sees my type it you know understands it and it says well my type can do all the operations that an int can do you can add it to another type or excuse me add it to another type that is of type my type and subtract it multiplication all of that stuff but it's not an int right and in fact you can't even add my type to an int right you'd have to convert it to an integer to do that so that is the problem here my type is not of type int, int is just the underlying type of this new type, my type. In the program on the right, you see the only difference is the fact that we have this equal sign right here. And whenever we have an equal sign in a type declaration, we aren't really creating a new type, we're creating an alias for the type that we're setting it equal to. So we're really just telling the compiler that these two words are interchangeable. In other words, we're saying my type is a nickname for integer. And actually, if I hover over it, it explains just that. 
and there are actually a couple commonly used alias that are built into the standard library for Go, and that is Rune and Byte. Byte is an alias for a unsigned 8-bit integer, and Rune is an alias for a 32-bit integer. So this program runs with no problem because unlike the message over here, I actually is of type my type, aka integer. Thanks so much for watching this video. Comment if you have any questions whatsoever. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.